This is Medication Minute on Rocuronium. Rocuronium bromide is a non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker. It antagonizes acetylcholine at the motor end plate, producing skeletal muscle paralysis. Not like succinylcholine, you won't see those fasciculations or that quivering-like effect before the patient becomes paralyzed. Because it's a non-depolarizing paralytic, it lasts much longer than depolarizing paralytics like succinylcholine. Succinylcholine may only last 10 minutes, where rocuronium can last in excess of 30 minutes. It is only used for drug-facilitated intubation, like uh, RSI or DSI. The dosage is 1.2 milligrams per kilogram IV or IO. It's extremely important to make sure that the patient is sedate prior to paralysis. You would not want to induce iatrogenic conscious paralysis on a patient. Imagine taking away their ability to breathe and they're completely awake for it. So you would want this patient to be completely sedate prior to inducing paralysis. This is why we administer something like ketamine or etomidate prior to administering a paralytic like rocuronium to facilitate endotracheal intubation. Of course, we would want to monitor capnography the entire time, as well as the rest of the vital signs, blood pressure, heart rate, pulse oximetry, and have only a brief period of time to perform the endotracheal intubation in between ventilations. This was Medication Minute on rocuronium.